In this video, we want to see how we can count the number of lines of text in a text input. You know that we can set the text input to accept multiple lines of text. But how can we count the number of the lines in that text input? Or in general, if we just have a string or like a plain text, how we can count the number of the lines in that? And this is the topic of this video. Let's get into it. This is the app that I created here. This app has a text input, which I've set it to multi-line. And here I have a separate text box that the text at the moment is just a bunch of question marks. And I would like to put the count of lines that the user has typed in here in this text box. So here is the strategy. For every line that the user adds, he or she pushes the enter. So basically adds a new line character. If we can count those new line characters, we are good. So here are the steps. First of all, we extract all the new line characters from the text and count them. Then we realize, oh no, there might be some enter press or some new line characters before or after the text. We want to exclude them. After we are done with all that, we look into the possible bugs of this homemade approach into this problem. So the new line character, the way that old school C++ and C Sharp developers can remember is backslash N. If there is a way that I can count every new lines in this, I'm golden. So let's see how we can do that. We have this text box here. And inside this text box, I just want to add count rows because whatever we catch, you have to count the number of the rows inside it. Power Apps has a function called match all. Match all is built to work with regular expressions. So basically, if you want to count or find all the email addresses in a certain text, you can use match all. But we want to use it in a lot more primitive way. So I say match all in every text that we want to count the lines dot text and I close this guy, count all the rows in this text that they match a new line. So backslash n, as I mentioned before, and I close this bracket and it shows me four. So, but don't rush, please. If you think you are done and you can go after your work, no, please stay with me to the end. Remember, this is the stage demo, so I'm not gonna give you the right answer right away or all the surprises right in the beginning. Yes, it shows me four lines, but if I run this, you will see I have already added one extra line here. So if I type in something, although I'm adding the fifth line, it still shows me four. But if I press enter, it shows me five. So always between the lines, there is a new line character. So if there are two lines, there is one new line character and one is right after the end. Not only that, if I press enter five times after that, you will again get some inaccurate results. So for now, let's get rid of any enter that is happening before or after the text that we want to process. It's very easy. I can simply come back here and instead of this count rows of this text, I say, you know what? Before you start counting and matching the new line characters, please trim it. So if I trim this guy just like this and I run it again, you will see it just ignores everything that was before. It ignores everything that was after. And it tells me there is only one new line character, which is between line one and line two. So if there are three lines, I get two lines of text. If there are four lines, I guess three. So you guessed it, whatever this guy returns, oh, this one, I can simply say plus one to get the exact number of the lines, which is here. This is great. So let me just run it and you see four line, five lines, which is correct. One line, which is correct. But if I remove everything, it's supposed to be zero lines, but this poor guy shows me one line. And this is exactly the surprise that I'm referring to in the last one, dealing with one tiny bug. To fix that, I need to Put a little condition here. So I can come here and I can say, buddy, if this guy, I go to the beginning, I say, if this guy is nothing, 
show me zero. Otherwise, show me whatever that this guy, the second line of this formula returns. I can simply click on format text so it looks better. It also guarantees that my formula is correct. At least the syntax is correct. And now if I run this, if nothing is there, it shows me zero line. If I put my first line, it shows me one line, two lines, three lines, and I can simply copy and paste them and I can get the correct number of the lines. Keep that in mind. This guy does not count the lines that this text input displays. It actually shows the number of the lines that are there or basically the number of the times that we pressed enter in between the lines. Also keep that in mind, this approach does not count the multiple enters, but if I type in something there, it shows me here there are five lines, line one, two, three, four, and five. Just keep that in mind that how this one works. Short and sweet. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know where the like button is. If today is the day that you want to push that subscribe button, that's fantastic. You really make my day. And if you really, really, really want to take it to the next level, I appreciate if you share this video on your LinkedIn or any other social media. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.